For Women's History Month, we want to introduce you to a historical figure you may not even be aware of who has made an impact on our nation. This week, we're going to look at the life of Sarah Josepha Hale. In her later years, Hale liberalized her outlook so far as to approve women doctors if only to treat those ailments of women that she felt were otherwise better endured than examined by male physicians. She advocated education for women and opportunities for women to teach, although she always remained apart from formal feminist movements. And Hale was also nicknamed Mother of Thanksgiving. She famously campaigned for the creation of the American holiday known as Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's right. The concept of a national Thanksgiving did not originate with Hale. Uh, and, the fact, and in fact, the idea had been around since the earliest days of the Republic. By 1854, though, more than 30 states in the U.S. territories had a Thanksgiving celebration on the books. But Hale's vision of a national holiday remained unfulfilled. She crusaded for many years to make Thanksgiving a symbol of national unity, a federal holiday. Starting in 1846, this long-term trek finally reached its goal in October of 1863 when President Lincoln released a proclamation. Hill was an American writer, activist, and editor of the most widely circulated magazine in the period before the Civil War, The Day's Ladies Book. Women pulled pools together to buy the highly anticipated magazine in groups, and Hill was one of the first female magazine editors. She wrote the nursery rhyme, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Impressive. That is impressive. I like it. That's some history for you yeah. and women's history.